Hello everyone, this is Melissa. Today we're going to be doing a flip through of a completed journal. I used a digital kit, Peaches and Cream Delight, from Sherry Schmier at Studio 28E. This is my design team project for April. It is an 8 by 5 and a quarter and a, whoops, extra string, a 2 and a half inch spine. I use Sari Silk for the binding for the closure. And I'll show you the back. This is a Reader's Digest book. I recycled the cover. To the inside. This is very large. I did start off with more pages but ended up having to pull some out because it got too big. I tried to use as many of the digitals as I could for the pages and for um, for pockets and tucks and tags and that kind of stuff. We've got Sari Silk on the front. Oops, let me get to the front and the back of every signature, same color. So the second signature has green, third has cream, fourth has green, fifth has cream, and sixth has the green. That was a very quick flip through. All right, let's go page by page. Index card, just tea stained. Little tab added. Um, this is from the cover, from the spine. Just turned it into a little pocket tuck. Uh, paper doily. This is one of the embellish. Both both of these are embellishments from the kit. Tea stained envelope. You tuck whatever you want in there. Some of the lined paper from the kit. And I did not do any stenciling in this entire book um, on the pages. I left them blank. A little bit of ledger paper reinforced with washi. This is one of the envelopes from the kit. I didn't glue it, I just left it. And this is a little bit of uh, sorry silk material from Sheila Gingrich. There's a few pieces throughout the book. Her latest kit uh, was a, a peachy salmon color. Uh, just an index card, cut out a little tab, a little decoupage on it, another index card, stenciling and tea dyeing. This is a security envelope turned into a pocket with this little embellishment that's not part of the kit. These are actually from uh, Graphics Fairy. Um, another envelope, security envelope with a window, and um, just a tag from the kit from one of the pages. It's the end of the first signature. A little belly band with, um, this was one of the envelopes that I cut down to make into a journaling card. Um, just a tag that I had done, um, gotten from a swap. This here is a little tiny. It does open, I promise. Just a little tag made out of with the peach. Um, a little bit of that trim from Sheila. And this is just a um, graph index card. 
image of the peach. This is from one of the pages. I just cut it out and turned it into a little tuck spot. One of the envelopes. And this little bow is one of the embellishments from the kit. Tag backed with tea stain. Just a little index card. And this is a digital of a um, very lovely piece of linen that Sherry has. don't know if this is going to pick it up. I hope it does. It's a very uh, soft color and there are flowers embroidered all the way around. There's a larger... Oops! Drop my notebook. Here's a larger piece. Let's see if it will... A very lovely little piece that she let me use for this kit. I just turned it into a, um, a little journaling card with some tea stain paper on the back. Another one of the embellishments. An index card, blank index card, just uh, tea stained. It's actually uh, sprayed with a, a bit of uh, um, cranberry ink stain and uh, tea, tea mixed together. Um, this is just a little embellishment that I had fit in that little tiny pocket that's part of the embellishment kit. Another one of the digitals and index card and I cut it so it has little like the little Tim Holtz thing. I don't have a uh, a die cutting machine or anything, so I did it by hand. Just a little um, journaling spot tucked into the very back. Part of uh, one of the embellishments from the kit. A little bit of lace from Sheila. More of the digitals, papers. And that was from uh, Jill and Cindy. Uh, prim and Pretties. Uh, you can get a little kit that has all kinds of uh, journaling cards and little bits of material and stuff like that. I've used them before making uh, tabs with the material. Um, this fabric, fabric flip. Another one of the digital pages. Um, this is the washi tape that comes in the kit. And here's one of the uh, library cards, due dates. It was an old envelope that I'd gotten by um, uh, Booksmith Miller quite a while ago, 1936. One of the tags from the kit and just backed with some grade school paper. Another tag from the kit, little card, some more sorry embellishment from Sheila, another one of the little cards from embellishments from the kit. And this was a, just a cut out from one of the pages, as you can see. Um, was the back of this page and I printed out a large a full size and a smaller size at 85% which is what I used for the book and this is just a uh, journaling spot some tea stain paper and uh, one of the embellishments from the kit this is one of the envelopes turned into just a little flip down I guess a little hide it hidden journaling spot. And you'll see a couple of these throughout the, the journal. 
And there's another one of those index cards with tickets and extra little notes and things to do, some of the embellishments. Little tiny tags. Smaller versions of the larger ones that are throughout. Here's a larger version. Just a bingo card tucked in. This is one of the pages um, that I cut down turned into a little journaling spot that goes into the envelope and a little tuck spot behind with one of the one of the cards or I'm sorry uh, tags paper joyly and here is a large version of that beautiful piece of linen and I did attach the image from the very first signature Going. I believe we are on the fourth signature already. A little bit of wallpaper, same as what's back here behind on my desk. Another one of the cards. And this is a little envelope from the kit. And one of the envelopes I just cut up to use make a little journaling spot for the envelope. Oops. One of the journaling cards. And this was the top of the envelope I turned into a pocket. Another fabric flip, some tea stained paper, some of the uh, uh, digital pages cut down. Another piece of sorry embellishment, and uh, this is my logo, Studio Mab Vintage Journal Emporium. And I will write a, uh, a thank you note to someone if they purchase this book. Um, this is again from uh, Prim and Pretties. It's a little journaling card. And another graph index card. More the sari embellishment. Another one, another card from uh, Prim and Pretties. And then this is a little pocket here. This is one of the images from one of the digital pages. I cut it out, attached it to the envelope, and the envelope flips out, and there's another index card in there. This is a uh, window envelope, security envelope spot so there's behind and pocket for the tag more tea stained paper and another part of one of the um, foldable envelopes and cut off to make a pocket and a little journaling card and we are on to the fifth signature each signature has um, six pages, folded in half is 12, and 12 is 24, so total of 144 pages. This is just an index card that I decoupaged a paper doily onto and butterfly from this kit from one of the pages. And this embellishment was a cutout from one of the pages and then uh, glued down onto tea stain paper. Another one of those little girls, and it's another one of the envelope, or I'm sorry, embellishments turned into a little card. Another one of the tags. This little envelope is part of the kit, and this is one of my little favorite little pieces. Um, I had a found a couple of them. This is the second one I've used. I think I have one more. Um, little tag. Just tucks in there. A little bit of uh, crochet for the tab. And I took one of the tags and turned it into a um, little tuck spot. This is just an index card. Another security envelope. A little bit of lace and another tag. 
a little bit of sari trim, tiny little flip, and more there. Uh, this was an image, I believe. I believe this one was Mrs. Cog's. And another piece of that um, linen. Scan digital image, of course. Oops. And a glassine bag with a uh, manila folder tag, little bird. And I took that linen and added the um, embellishment and a little fussy cut and um, did a little bit of decoupage there. This is one of the washi tapes from there and one of the embellishments. And that was just paper I had from another, uh, another one of the digital images digital image, digital paper, some wallpaper, and another one of the tags. And this little pocket's part of the kit. And I did, I fussy cut her out and put her onto the tea stained paper. This is a um, one of the embellishments, and I backed it. Um, uh, put the doily down, and then backed it with tea stained paper to make it a little bit stronger. So it's a little flip and a little tiny tag. Another security envelope. Yes, I do love love security envelopes, and a little tag. And this one is a tuck also. Another one of the pages and a little sideways flip. This is uh, from Sheila Gingrich. And some washi tape. Well, it appears that my camera shut off, so um, I believe this is where we stopped. Um, this is a little bit of a sideways fabric flip. Uh, this is washi tape uh, from the kit and another one of those glassine bags with um, a small cutout, a fussy cut bird, a paper doily, and here's another tuck spot with another embellishment and a piece of that uh, linen backed with tea stain paper. And the last page, and the back pocket holds a um, index card divider that I um, decoupaged the uh, uh, digital paper to the back and cut it, fussy cut out one of the um, ladies. And that is used for writing when you want a nice solid surface. All right. There is my design team journal for Studio 28E for the month of April. This will be listed in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested. You can get the digital kit at uh, Studio 28E. It is called Peaches and Cream Delight. Thank you so much for viewing my channel today and I hope you have a wonderful day day.